Hey everybody, welcome to the last war in Alliance War Season 1. This is the finale. I uh, got it a little bit up late. Uh, we've already gotten our rewards, but don't worry, I'm going to put together a sort of recap of the whole season, plus rewards opening video. Uh, I've recorded the opening, it's not that big of a deal. So, the first champion I'm going up against in this war is a science champion on the, what is it, unblockable special one? Yeah, and so I normally expect Spider-Man on this node uh, or yellow jacket or potentially you could put a modok uh, as far as science goes you can try and surprise someone with an abomination this time this is probably the i think this is the first time in the whole season i remembered to boost up before this fight i usually put the boost on on node 24 always forget to boost up uh, with these other two fights because i'm going on these two fights um, beforehand anyway i decided to take in blade um, very much on purpose because I thought it was going to be the yellow jacket and it was so I get the danger sense and just the damage is unreal with blade here so um, I end up not worrying about the special one that he's got unblockable thinking I'm just going to be very cautious stay back do the do the thing that dorky Dave taught me a long time ago and uh, just try and bait this thing out with some distance here so we're doing the distance thing I'm dropping my block there goes the unblockable perfect and then I go in for that finish I Caution is the name of the game in this war for me. The name of the game. I am extremely cautious because this is the last one and I wanted to have a good showing. And that's another reason why you might see I brought in the Trinity this time. I was not playing any games. So I see a Modoc on this, stun immune. No problem. I got the danger sense going. Let's bring in Blade. So uh, we're going to get this uh, Modoc going. I don't really understand what Danger Sense does against Modoc. Does it prevent the auto block from coming up? Because he just auto blocked me there. Does it prevent it from returning? Um, does it prevent it from block actually blocking? It's really hard to say. So, but it doesn't matter because I'm doing such insane damage with the Danger Sense that uh, he's going down even through the block damage. So I'm just doing these, these little four hit combos and um, get my parries off and I'm baiting those heavies and he goes down like that 4k medium crit at the end so nice nice everything's looking good the next fight is no 24 i already know it's a five star medusa um do i think i had a plan here yes i had an advanced power boost left over um so i decided to use it and i don't know if you remember watching uh a previous war but the advanced power boost definitely is the way to go i think if you're going to do spider-man versus this node um, the invulnerability one's nice as well, uh, I like it, but the advanced power one gives you that edge offensively to, to get through the node. So I'm building up the poise charges, um, I got the living strands on me now, so now it's time to do your thing. It's time to bait the heavy, throw the heavy. <laughs> that's, that's, that's my thing now on this node. Bait the heavy, throw the heavy. It's kind of tricky, uh, sometimes she is, has different timings on her heavy attacks, but you just gotta... Just gotta be careful with it. So I got some nice crits on there, I got some shocks. Um, I'm able to get a nice five hit combo here. And um, I'm attacking into the block, extremely important. Uh, at least I've decided on this node, I need to attack into the block more. Um, and I'm back in the corner again. I'm trying to do my thing, bait the heavy. And uh, her, she's about to, I did that timing was really, the timing on that was really sketchy, but I went for it and her, her furies were, were falling off. So decided to go in for that second attack and it worked out uh, i got through medusa everybody should be super happy for me because it's one of the few times i've soloed her on that node it's just been so fr such a frustrating season um i'm gonna make some hopefully off-season changes i really want to get a void i can't i still can't decide whether or not i'm going to be opening featured or basic crystals because that void is in there but it's just such a low chance and such a high chance of getting a getting a lot of other champions i don't want um, there's still some champions i do want in there but a lot that i don't want so anyway, we got a cable here. He's got his uh, power gain going. Um, Stark enhanced Spider-Man. I'm not. I'm not even. Uh, I'm not even attacking him until I get up to ten poise charges, really, or eight maybe, <laughs> something high. I just need to make sure that I don't stay in this fight too long. So I'm baiting the special one. He's got unfazed. That's uh, something to watch out for. Um, I did notice it though, and I was cautious <laughs> and stayed away. Do not want to get caught by that unfazed. That guy goes unstoppable, juggernauts you, and oh man. And then he could put a degen on you and cables cable can be a pretty tricky defender and i hate him i mean that stupid gun of his so 
We are on to the power shield node, and I can tell it's a bishop because of the persistent charges. So that's pretty interesting. I was not too worried at all about bishop on this node. Um, I wasn't even quite sure what their what their what the deal was. What were they? What was the game plan? What does bishop do that would make him better on this node? Just I think maybe the people are thinking that it's hard to evade his uh, attacks. Okay, that's. You know, that's a good point, but Stark Enhanced Spider-Man will, will definitely get through that. Um, even if he didn't, I mean, just blocking it. I only have to block a few. Um, I don't know why I was hesitant to, uh, to go in on that parry, but anyway, I get this uh, bait, the special one. I'm, I'm blocking one of them, but I'm mostly evading the rest of them. And uh, I just have to get through a couple more, just be very cautious. I'm not even punishing those, I don't think, because I'm not quite sure it's possible. Um, let me see, let me see if I punish it on this one. No, I'm not, I'm just, I'm waiting actually. So I'm gonna throw this dirty special too, and uh, he goes down. Anyway, uh, moving on to what I think is the poison node. Yes, the poison node, brute force, and enhanced special two. Um, I was pretty confused because I saw the Modoc, uh, but obviously it wasn't the Modoc. It's a four star science champion. Uh, and then I started thinking about special twos. Who could it be? Who could it be? And it turns out it's Hulk Ragnarok. Okay. So I like this. Um, I love seeing diverse defenders. Um, Especially the new ones like Bishop and Hulk Ragnarok. It's so cool. So, uh, Hulk Ragnarok, uh, his special two is, is quite evadable, and I'm, I'm able to just do a couple swipes back and, and get out of the way. And uh, Blade doesn't have danger sense, obviously, but he is, he is doing pretty decent damage here. The only thing I'm watching out for is Hulk Ragnarok occasionally goes unstoppable on his attacks, so I have to make sure that that's not happening. It's kind of like watching out for Rhino's unblockable. And if you if you watch out for that, it's not too bad. And the fact that I brought in a blade and the fight was so short did make it happen a lot less. So that was nice. Um, but then it's time for blade again. I've Halls of Healing topped me off, so I'm I'm pretty happy with all this. Um, using some potions that are actually I I have these in my overflow, so I'm gonna be able to claim those and get right back up to topped. And uh, yeah, this it, it was completely unnecessary. I should have remembered, but I was just being, like I said, caution is the name of the game in this war. Dude, I do not want to make a mistake and embarrass myself like I have so many times in these videos. But uh, yeah, let me see. Let's This magic, she's not proccing Limbo. I'm doing the thing where she does not have high Mystic Dispersion, which I got really lucky with. Um, let me see if I can, and I'm, I'm trying to do these, yeah, that's like level 3 maximum. Um, so I'm trying to do these evades, where, these shallow evades where uh, she, she throws her special and it seems to be working, I'm doing okay. Push her up there, get a parry off. Actually, this special 2 is going to be pretty damaging to her. And yeah, I'm able to bait that special one again. Once Magic gets into a rhythm of throwing her specials, she actually gets really liberal with them. Um, I'm pretty sure that this special two is gonna get her down, and it does. So, luckily, I didn't have to fight the boss. Um, lately, you guys have seen, I've been pretty bad at the boss fights, and um, I told my officer that look like, uh, I'll do it if you ask me to. I've got items, I'm fine. I just don't wanna ruin our attack bonus. Like, I've been, getting owned lately on the bosses like I have not even come close to one-shotting a boss so the idea is that yeah maybe somebody else can go in and try for that um, that's that's someone that's not me <laughs> get try for that glory so anyway uh, these guys ended up beating us uh, our last war was a loss we actually went on kind of a losing streak towards the end of our season um, but I like to try and see it in, in a positive light. Uh, it will make um, it will make our next few wars a little easier in the in the off season. So maybe we can win some while they don't while they um, without spending much items, and and maybe uh, we can save some items while we kind of build back uh, build back our war rating a little bit. So not the end of the world. Um, we should be pretty happy. We finished uh, a pretty decent. Uh, I, you know, I'll have to display the score. I can't remember the score, our, our entire score now. Um, but we did we did pretty good. We definitely had more wins than losses, uh, potentially more than double wins than losses. Obviously, we can't, that's not sustainable, or we'd be, you know, the number one alliance. So we're going to find that we're probably 
going to start uh, winning and losing about the same amount as we get to a higher tier. And we are making some off-season changes. And um, some of those have already happened. And uh, hopefully we're, we're, we're all the better for it uh, after for the new season of Lions War. Anyway, I'll stop talking now. Uh, thanks to everyone for sticking with me through this entire war uh, in the war season. Uh, look, uh, look out for the recap video. I'll try to keep it short but informative. We'll see what kind of format I choose. And uh, we'll see you soon. Take care.